Hi everybody, Alicia here from MissPicklesDesignStudio.com. I want to make a quick tutorial on how to make a matching blog button, like a grab button that you see on the side banners of some blogs. Um, this is a cute design element that's often included with blog design packages, and it's a good way for your blog to offer um, a little advertisement opportunity. So if someone is a reader of your blog and they really like what you do, um, they can copy the code to the banner and then they can actually place it inside their sidebar. So in our Photoshop elements, I have a header right here that we're gonna be making one to match this header of this blog design. So if we go to File, New, Blank File. Buttons come in a, very, uh, a variation of sizes. There's usually 125 pixels by 125 is the standard. Um, those are the ones that, that most of the older blog ad spaces are sized for. However, some of the newer blog designs really like the bigger buttons, so 150, um, 250 even. Uh, it just depends on what size you want. So I usually, for my clients now, um, do 150 by 150 unless they specify otherwise. Um, and then resolution, I always do 300, but you can keep it at 72 if you want to work at 72. Background color is white. Uh, and then press OK. And then you're going to see this little square pop up. And then from here, once you have um, your design elements, you can have it in your header file um, that you put together. Or if you just have the separate elements in a folder, you can um, place them onto your canvas. But since I have um, some already on this canvas, I'm going to drag and drop them over to the new button tab over here. So uh, this is just something new that I'm going to show you. So first thing, we want to figure out the, the elements that will fit clearly within your blog button space, which is not very big. If you hit Control plus, you can make it larger. And that's helpful to do while you're um, putting your elements on. And then you, then you can view it at a smaller size. It's just sometimes easier to work at a bigger size. So just click over to your tab where your open header is. Um, if you if you have one that layers move around okay and then we're gonna first take over this girl um, and she's connected to this um, lawn area that I act that I added in there too so I'm going to both of these if you hold down your control key and click the layers, the separate layers, you can select more than one at a time. So control and then click. So I have three layers um, selected. If you right click and go to link layers, now they're stuck together. So I could move these all around um, as one piece. So I'm gonna hover over the tab and then drop it in here. And then control minus will bring me out even more because this is a very large image. So you're not seeing it yet. Okay, there we go. Size it down. And then uh, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd make it any smaller than that. So let's get her in there so she shows nicely. Okay, and press check to place it down. And then let's go back over to the header. And I'm going to put the text together now also. So clicking control, or holding control and clicking the layers. Right click, link layers. And notice it still shows up here. So once we come back, the girl's still there. So even though we're moving things around, it basically copies them and then drops them and leaves your original as it is. Okay. Control minus, bring you back out. And then you can use your arrows too. Control plus will bring it back in. OK, 
Okay, and I think I'm going to have it overlap just a little bit. And then press check. And then from here, you can see that the style of the writing has changed. The outline of the line is much thicker because we've sized it down. So we're going to make it look similar to this by right clicking, clear layer style, and then from here, sometimes it will let you edit layer style, but in this case it didn't. So um, I'm going to control J to duplicate that. And actually, no, nope, let's see, unlink layers. See if this works. Yes, there we go. So if you unlink the layers, then you can press edit layer style. Stroke, which would be smaller than that, probably a 2 or a 1.5, 1.8, somewhere in there. Okay, it has to be a 2. Um, white. And then we're going to add a little drop shadow. 1, 5, and 15, maybe. Sorry, my kids are being very loud right now. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe try 20. All right, I liked 15 better. Okay, and I think this is just a little too far. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll keep it at 1, 5, and 15 until we get some um, background added in there. Press OK. And we're going to do the same thing for the local girl. Drop shadow. 1, 5, 15. And then stroke is 2. And white. Okay. All right. So you'll see also that the the um, drop shadow on her is a little bit large too. So we can go in and we can mess around with this a little bit too if we want. I think three is good. Okay. And then, let's see. File. Oh, well, from here, let's go to the header file one more time. I'm going to drag the. Let me pause you one second. Okay. Sorry about that. Sent everybody off to the playroom. <laughs> okay. So um, back to this. Now I want to add a background color. I could take just a color because there's a lot. Of, there's a lot going on here. Um, I could take like the green or a color that is one of the complementary colors in this, um, and come over here. Click the white background. Use your paint bucket and fill it in. Okay, maybe that's not like the best color. Um, maybe we could try the sky blue. Okay, that's a little better. Um, or you could come over and drag the entire background image that you have or other elements. So let's just try this just to see how it looks. It might be too busy. Um, control minus zoom you out but we could maybe find something that we can stick back there to make it a little more filled up let's see I actually like the busier look now that I'm seeing this. So let's see. 
That's cute. I get a little less behind the text though. Okay, I think that's much better. Okay, so it's the text is is more um, visible that way. We'll move this up a little bit. And I want to get her butterfly showing because that was one of the design elements that was had some significance to her brand. Okay. Now, if you see a little bit right here, make sure you look through here and make sure there's no um, kind of pixels that are popping out of different colors. Like right here, there's a little blue spot. If we just nudge her over a little bit more, then that won't show. So that just keeps it a little cleaner. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I think that's good. Um, so once you get one that you like, file, save as, and then save it as a Photoshop document, say 150 banner Photoshop, and then save it as your JPG file. So you can go back and edit the Photoshop file after if you want to make changes. Um, and the JPG is the one that you're going to be using on your site. That's the image file. Okay, so that's how you make a made to match uh, blog, blog banner ad. I hope that helps and I'll make another tutorial on how to do the um, grab code for these and how to load it up on your blog at a later date. Have a great day guys.